Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this episode, we're going to be exploring the robot world. So I've gone around and I've placed uh, passive provider chests uh, at all of these locations. As you can see, these are the red chests. I'd like to talk a little bit about how chests work within the RoboPort system. Um, but first, I need to get some of these RoboPorts uh, along the line here. I think I'd like to have them along the train tracks as we were um, kind of planning to do. So why not just, let's start here. Should I put it there? Yeah, I'll put it like two above the, um, the bottom area there. Okay. Now they don't have to be exactly, you know, the, the yellow square away. Um, but we can stretch it a little bit if we want to. Okay, you, um, when you're connecting or when you are placing these things down to connect them, you need to make sure that the um, you can see the lines between the robo ports like this. That's very, very important because otherwise uh, they will not allow the logistics bots to travel between them. Each robo port has two areas, as you can see as I'm kind of moving it around. The orange area is the logistics network and the green represents the construction network. Now the construction bots, that means that they can travel that amount of distance away from a RoboPort and still build things. But for picking up stuff from chests, it has to be within the orange area. So that's what I'm looking at right now uh, with these things is trying to get this orange area uh, put down so that we can... Uh, you know, have a consistent network coming across here. Okay, let's just connect this and I'll get a power pole. There you go. Uh, they can overlap. Uh, some people are very militant about that they do not overlap. However, it is actually a good thing if they do overlap because uh, robots do need to charge and um, it, the more of the um, robo ports you have, the faster they're going to charge. We do want to get this all the way to our robot area that we made last time. Okay, there's that one. But I also want it to be along this pathway, which has kind of disappeared since I <laughs> I, uh, I ran out of pathing. Um, but anyway, uh, is that too low? No, it's, it looks okay. Right. So we want to connect it all the way up here where we're making bots, which is quite, quite far, uh, admittedly. All right. I'm going to have to get rid of one of these areas, aren't I? Hmm. That's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I can move that one there. This one can be there. Okay. That's just fine. Nanobots, please do the honors. No. Okay. Okay, so we just need to connect this network to the other network. And when you look on the map, if you press M, you can actually see this here. And um, we're getting a lot of <laughs> unhappy robot things because we are um, we don't have the materials for all of this stuff. But that's going to go away. But you can see where the logistics networks do not connect, which is right over here. That's valuable information to know in case you have. It's like, oh my god, why are the robots not delivering stuff? Um, and at the moment, if I put stuff in my inventory, then uh, they won't be able to reach me because I'm not within that logistics system. Now, how shall we organize this? I should put them four apart, not three, I suppose. Ah, uh, though this would work here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are four wide and tall. This is a, happens to be a perfect place for them. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. It's messed up my little power thing, but that's all right. Aha, and there they go. They have taken flight. They're obviously doing something. You can see that they are doing things, constructing things probably, uh, getting stuff made. Oh my gosh. After this, we're going to attend to green circuits because this is just pitiful, I have to say. Very, very, very bad. Okay, let's get some kind of research going on. We'll just kind of get anything that wants to go, let it go and call it good. Um, and with this, I think I want to try to create some power armor. The only thing we're going to need is we're going to need our processing units for that. Um, <laughs> though I'm reticent to make them because look at this green circuit stuff. It's horrible. Oh, oh, and hello. They're, they're 
they're assembling stuff down here apparently. Nice. Okay, must be just within construction range. Um, but the one thing that I have not done is upgrade the belt area of the mall. Now the belt area is very special because what it has is it has circuit conditions on these inserters um, and it takes from requester chests, uh, but we're not going to use those right now. Actually, now that now that I think of it, I don't want to use them at the moment because um, we don't have requester chests. It used to be that all of the requester chests uh, would, uh, what do you want to call it? My brain just stopped functioning. Uh, they would they would come at the same time or relatively the same time as uh, the storage and provider chests. However, that is no longer the case. They're now locked behind uh, purple and gold or gold science. I can't remember which they are. Let's see. Uh, requester chests. Ah, yes. Purple and gold science, right? Um, because the devs decided that people need to fiddle around with belts before they um, get the opportunity to use requester chests. And that has annoyed many people. I I personally like belts, uh, but I think it's kind of strange. I, I wish it was different, but anyway, it's okay. Personal laser defense. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Thank you. Right, so now I'm wondering, should I get that or should I not get that? I think I think I want to build a little bit of blue circuits and then I want to go and take care of the green circuits. We definitely need to build blue circuits this, this time, but look at all those bots flying around. They're going collecting stuff, placing things down where they need to. It's not too bad, not terribly bad anyway. All right, laser defense is good. Military three, I think we need. Okay, cool. And we'll also pick up these electric engines since I'm gonna need them for the power armor, I think. Um, oh my God, that's a little too many of them. <laughs> Do I need them for this? Yeah, oh, I need them for exoskeletons as well. So I might as well keep them all on me. That'll be just fine. I can build a personal robo-port, I'll take it. Uh, right, and I need to give this to one of these assemblers. There you go. And I think that should be good. Right. And now we can start requesting things as well from the Logi network. This is good. I'm very excited about this. Um, we really don't even need this tanks. Okay, sure. We'll have tanks. Finally, <laughs> finally we can get tanks now that we no longer care. Um, yeah. Oh my God. The research is going so fast. Wow. Uh, so to get stuff automatically delivered to you, you can have it requested through the network. Now belts, I think I'm going to want something like six, 400 or 600 belts. I also like to just have a stack of each of the um, splitters and undergrounds with me. I like to have my power poles. Uh, what else? Inserters. I like to have also, there we go, and just get these requested as soon as possible. Uh, I also like my well passive providers aren't really needed a lot stack inserters yes um so yeah getting those things done is good and the robots will just bring me stuff when i am short flamethrower damage yeah that sounds okay uh automation three we need purple signs for that ah. all right well i'm gonna start making the blue circuits let's get rid of this for now just clean up the inventory just a bit I hate having a lot of excess stuff in my inventory. It's very annoying to me. All right, so we need, is it an early game? I don't think it's early game. I think it's mid game. It's hard to remember where I put certain things. Oh, here's a blue circuit setup. Um, yeah, I think we can probably just use this uh, blueprint because it is extremely simple to set up. That's two, one, two, and three. Bring it up here and place it down. Uh, now this blue circuit setup is kind of cool. I like it a lot. Why you not work nanobots, huh? I wonder if they are not working because I'm in the construction zone. Uh, let me see the settings here for that. Options, mods. Nanobots in networks. Um, is that no or yes? Oh, let's see. No, let's try that. Does that work? Aha, there we go. Right. 
I would rather the nanobots build this stuff than my regular na my regular bots because at the moment I don't have a lot of regular bots. Okay, yeah, construction we have 142 getting made, but they can't even get made because there's no green chips there. Oh my god. All right, let me, I'll just give them half my green chips and let them make some more bots. But anyway, okay, there we go. Thank you very much. And now the regular Lodgy bots are now feeding me stuff because I have things. Now I need to be careful to walk in the pathway of the orange stuff there uh, for quick um, checking. You can always hold a deconstruction planner or a blueprint. Deconstruction is good because it doesn't block your view of anything else. Uh, but anyway, oh, and we're going to have to rotate these things. So anyway, this is a very simple design that I... Uh, found or came I don't remember if I it's been so long I've been using this forever but I absolutely love it because it uses space very very efficiently with these blue circuits now let me check do we have stack inserters made I know there's a spot but I think yeah shoot all right let's go back to the mall and make sure that those stack inserters are getting made okay, go to not there the mall please oops no that's not what I wanted Thought I could double click and go there, but apparently not. It's okay though. We're all, we'll all be fine. And there go my bots trying to catch up with me. But the cool thing is, is the train is in the logistics network, so um, they won't get upset or or stop following me because I won't be going out of the network. All right, we need to get. I think this one should be stack inserters. And then this one is going to be filter stacks. And I just happened to remember that. But anyway, what do they need? They are looking for circuits. Wow. I'm going to cancel that one for now. Because I would really rather not convert them to stack filter inserters right now. Man, oh man. Absolutely no way. Oh, look at how horrible this is. No. How many do they need? 15 circuits for that. Wow. Oh boy. I'm going to get some of this stuff from the side here. Dang. Yeah, this is where our green circuits are painting us. We have neglected that for too long. And all of a sudden the factory needs tons and tons of them. Um, and it's not getting them. Come on, make stuff. Go, go, go. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. I don't want to just give you half of those. And I can grab even some of these these uh, gears on the lines to feed as well. Now, normally that you wouldn't have to do this. I'm just kind of jump starting the system because I happen to need a lot of stack filter and or stack inserters at the moment. Uh, right, go gears, gears. Take all the gears, please. There we go. Takes a half a million gears, approximately. Lots and lots of those things. Dang. All right, and I am getting some stack inserters on me, which is great. Very, very good. I'm going to put these guys back in here. Cool. Okay, and we should be getting some from there. And flamethrower damage is done. We don't even need a lot of this stuff. Gun turret damage, no. What about lasers? Nope, that one's gold. Combat robot damage? Okay. Sure, why not? And we'll go down here to red circuits. And try to get this area. I hope it'll fill in the closer ones, which it should. It should definitely fill in the closer areas there. If I approach it carefully. So I'm going to approach it from the bottom. Because I want the nearer ones to be serviced first. go and I'm going to talk about this array in just a second oh we had enough fantastic it's very helpful and what I'm going to do, be doing basically is collecting these guys in a chest for now I don't know if I'll hook it up to the bus just yet because we really don't have the green circuits to spare to spend on anything else uh, so this is one of those situations where the machines are going to require so many materials, we're going to divert a full belt. And for this, we're going to need a full belt of green and then a half a belt of green in addition, uh, as well as half a belt of red. 
Okay, T, let's go and get, I don't even know what to get anymore. It's just like all this stuff. Well, I can't do that until people start complaining. Um, and um, there we go. All right, we'll get this going. Yeah, but this will eat every last green circuit we throw at it. It will eat all of them, just every one. So, you know, never, never doubt the power of, <laughs> of the blue circuit making machines because it will eat the world. Hello, Araminta. Yes, my baby. You're such a good baby girl. Nice. Um, I think we'll use this bottom lane. Uh, and this one can go. We'll use number two here. Oopsies. How do we want to do this? Um, Cause that one has to be, the thing about it is I could switch lanes, but I don't really want to switch lanes um, because this one, so we need for each of these processing units, we need 20 electronic circuits. Wow. Is that up from before? Oh my God. Um, so we want the stack inserters to be grabbing those as fast as possible. The long handed inserters are to grab the, um, the red and green circuits from the secondary line. So I need to figure out how I want to do this thing. Could do it lower like this. Could do this. Like that. All kinds of weirdness going on here. And this one goes that way. And then red comes from down here, which is okay too. I think that that would work. Let's just measure this here. Oopsies. All right, there we go. So we're gonna have reds on the other half of the belt. Of course, there's almost no reds because there's no greens. But at the very least, we shall be getting some circuits made eventually. All right, shotgun stuff is done. The only thing that is left is, of course, the sulfuric acid, which is indicated by this uh, combinator right there. Okay, good. Now it is going along. Check that out. Right, all this stuff is getting made, and soon we shall have the blue circuits. Right, so... Now I feel like it's definitely time. Oh, the other thing that I should mention is we have the ability to have trash slots. And instead of just using them for extra inventory, as I have been, we can have the, um, <laughs> the robots take stuff from us. If you shift click them or put them in there, the robots will take stuff fr from you and they'll get working on stuff. You can also choose something to auto trash. Say, for example, if you have too many power poles, uh, you just click it in here and you can adjust the slider or, or um, type in how many you want. So if I have a request for 50 and I want to auto trash 50, that means it'll leave 50 in my inventory, but anything over that number is going to get automatically trashed. So I tend to do something like request, I don't know, 48. Uh, otherwise, it's a lot of back and forth with robots and stuff like that. Okay, I think we're gonna go to, let's go to the mall area and uh, go shopping maybe for some miners. Um, in any case, we'll need to do smelting so it doesn't really matter. But um, let's get miners here. Um, and we'll need like 150 maybe? That's three stacks. And I think, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need power poles and Oh yes, we need to get our steel furnaces. We need like 150 of those at least. So we'll have this happening here. Our bots are still quite slow. Let's see if we can get some speed on that. Robot, I don't know if it's called robot or bot. Combat robot damage, ah, worker speed and cargo size is still locked behind purple. No luck for us then, that's okay though. And right now I just, I don't have enough bots to bring them that fast either. So we're just going to go a little bit of shopping, do a little bit of shopping. It's okay. 
um, and just get those things brought and made and transferred over. And yeah, I put those in a storage chest. So when you place things down, if you'll notice, I put this in a storage chest. So all this stuff in here is going to get taken first. Uh, when you have a priority, when you, when you think about priorities with the chests, the first chest that the bots are going to empty is the active provider. And those get just basically emptied. They just get emptied into storage. Um, and those are the yellow chests. The next place the bots take from is a storage box. So if you're worried about, oh my gosh, I have lots of robo ports in the passive provider, don't worry, they'll take the ones from storage first to keep your storage neat and tidy. Uh, and then they will take from the passive providers afterward. Um, and then of course, requesters are in their own category because they don't uh, store stuff for taking. They just allow you to bring stuff to those chests and feed it with an inserter elsewhere. Okay, looks like the bots are quite happily bringing me stuff. Now, when you have something like this, aha, what does this mean? This is a new symbol in 0 0.15, and it means, oh, we can't communicate with our, our um, you know, robot overlords. Um, I like the little alien look sort of funny thing. But um, it, it means that it is not within a the logistics part of a network. So you see it's in the green, but it's not in the orange. So we must move that into an orange zone uh, basically by uh, putting a robo port down. And I think we're gonna have to, well, you know what? We're just gonna be consistent and have a standard width on the bus here. Let's get this out. And Four, four, yep. Uh, two, two, two. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Put that one there, and then also put another robo port up here because we have these um, the nano bots being made right there. Okay we want the nano nanobots and termite bots to also be within our pickup range of our requester chests. All right, we're going to put that as gears there. Uh, these guys can be also in passive providers. Okay, fantastic. Now we are going to have to explore this lower area and figure out, oh my goodness, what's going on here? Looks like this line is not even saturated. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, I think let's get our upgrade planner out and figure out what we want to do here. Okay, that looks like a really good um, setup for now. So let's just set this to be um, red. Red and steel furnaces. And it looks like we may have to upgrade the coal as well, possibly follow this where it goes. Remember, as you're um, using stuff, um, are these? No, they're okay. They look, they're okay, apparently. Uh, as you upgrade the belts, you also need to add many more miners to the belt lines. And I think for, let me check my list here, uh, today we need 51 miners for red. That's kind of strange to me. I, I, somebody gave me that number. I'm curious if you remember who you are. Why is it 51 red and 77 blue? I mean, which side does the extra one go on? That's my question. Um, or is that just a general calculation? Okay, I think I really like to. I'd really like to just get rid of this whole base. We do not need this anymore. I'm going to cut off this copper. I'm going to redo the mining in this area, basically. I want to take it all down uh, and then we're going to bring it new. What is this? No, we don't care about this. You can, oh, thank you very much. Player's inventory full. Right. So this is one thing that I love to auto trash is copper. We need zero of it. So this will be transferred from my inventory once I get back to the logistics network. Okay. All this other stuff. Yes, yes, go away. Don't need you. Shoo. <laughs> go, go, go. Right, and I want to...
take this down probably in strips rather than that weird combo that I had. Okay. And we'll just, do we have a mining blueprint that we can use somewhere? These are okay, I suppose. This is just fine. Or we could start using the underground ones. Um, that's another option. I don't think we need to spend the money on that, to be honest. So I'm just going to use this kind of thing here. That looks probably exactly right. Wow, this is fantastic. Okay, get out of this. And we're going to just place these guys down here. I'm checking for the outside boundaries of the left side first and then the bottom side. And make sure all of the ore that I want is within the parameters that I'm, or within the uh, confines of the miners. I am leaving one space. Uh, if you'll note, I only have power poles. Let me just bring this up. Power poles on one side of this. I notice that if I do both sides, then inevitably I have way too many power poles on one side um, and things get mismangled and it's, it's a bad time. It's a very bad time. So I no longer do it that way. I just have power poles on one side um, and it makes it a lot neater and cleaner, I think, to deal with. Okay, let's get this out. That can go. This one, how many are you? 7K. You're 3.1k. I don't think so. I don't think we need that. 3.9 is just one square. No, no, no. We're just going to mine this entire area. Oh, it's short on one belt. How inconvenient. I'm also going to get rid of these things, the things that are not needed. Hey, come on. Go, go, go. Don't get held back. Um, yeah, these are just like minor, 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 minors. Get rid of that one. You are 8.6. Yeah, any of them that cover squares that cannot be gotten by other miners definitely need to stay. So I'm carefully looking at that while I'm uh, trimming these things down. This one can also can be got by the next door neighbor there. Oh, that's a shame that those belts didn't get. That one is too few. Oh, they did actually uh, tile all the way. That's very nice. Okay, that one can go. This one can go. Yeah, I think I think this is looking good. All right, um, one more. Or maybe a couple more. I don't know. Let's see. We can get... I think we'll do a couple more maybe this one and then we'll just get like a few like that that works for me okay okay and what are you not good enough nope go away all right fantastic Oh, we are having holdups. Never mind. I was incorrect there. I assumed that they were good, but they were missing a square. Okay, let's go on this one here. And of course, we'll have to add our power poles in in just a second for all those miners that didn't get it. So doing power on one side does have, of course, the caveat of the other side uh, is not going to get powered, but I don't find this to be at all a problem. I just add couple power poles there and it's all good. No worries at all. All right, we're going to try to divide this up into groups of 51 is needed per red belt, apparently. I think, let's see, how many we've got? 185. That sounds like just about enough for three belts, three fully compressed belts um, with a little bit for, you know, stuff running out. So we could do three belts here. Uh, and let's see how many we have. Try to combine these things the best way we can. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to three. We need a something to three, obviously. And...
These probably three can be combined just in general. Let's see. Take this. Take all of those. That's Oh, that's 53 exactly. Wow. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. These guys are going to go this way. There we go. That's one. And I'm guessing I could possibly combine this one and that one and those two together. What are the... Or I could just do a big, a bigger splitter. That's another option as well. These are 71 on there. And these are 61 there. In either case, it's still more than enough for... Hmm... I am wondering if I should use a bigger balancer because these things are going to run out at different rates. So I think it's it's wise to use that. All right, let's look at our, our um, balancers here. We'll go maybe like eight to three or even six to three. Yeah, six to three should be fine, I think. I'm sure we can organize this to be fair. Fairly well distributed. Uh, right. Where is this thing? There it is. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's just fine if we do that. I think we'll do this one in one. And, oopsies. These guys can be over here. This one can go there just to feed in. Okay, put this one this way. Have these two. That's perfect. That works out really, really nicely. And this should work fairly decently, I think. Now we just need to hook these up and get them flowing into the, the world of copper. There we go. It's actually kind of nice because... Um, We, we have only four, how many, do we have four smelters or we have eight? No, we have eight, I think. And then we were going to supply the rest by train, I believe. Okay, this one goes there. And of course, I did not do this either. Oh dear, dear, dear. Yep, I was sloppy there. That's not good. Yeah, now my old, my old uh, problems are going to haunt me here. Right. Okay, let's just get those filled in. The rest, of course, will be organized with the um, upgrade planner. It's like, it seemed convenient at the time, right? <laughs> always does. It always does. But then, you know, you pay for not crafting those splitters early and... But, you know, when you don't have the materials, you don't have the materials. So it's, yeah, it's always a give and take. Right. Let's get these guys hooked up there. And we're almost out of red belts. Um, but what we need to do here, we need to get this upgrade planner and take out, or uh, deconstruction planner. Or maybe what we should do is just have a cycle going on of these things. That would be alright too. And every time we have a cycle, we can just replace them. As odd as that may look, um, it does actually work. The alternative is replopping all the blueprints, which I don't know if I really want to do that at the moment, to be honest. 
Okay, we do need to get these guys red. And we've run out of belt, which is unfortunate. We let me see, do we have enough roboports to go down there? Almost. Put that one there. Get this. There they go. They should be able to construct that roboport, I think. Yeah. They should be able to construct it very easily. Okay, they're, they're taking all of the nice uh, copper out of my system here. I should put down a few more chests, storage chests, and I will put them right here, I think. That way stuff can get stored. I don't have to worry about it. Put that stuff in there. Good, good, good. Okay, and now they're actually building stuff down here, which is quite interesting. Definitely a good thing. Okay, there's copper. I want to take this down here and uh, so that they will actually build this stuff. Take that there and grip this that way. And now they'll be building this entire thing on their own without me having to go and grab all of the, the materials to go and place this down. And instead I can go and um, just get the red belts and put the red belts down. Wow, they're they're taking stuff. Okay, hey guys, how you doing? Thank you very much. That's nice and fun, woohoo. <laughs> this is great. So this is the robot network in, in process, in progress, and our construction bots are still suffering. We still only have 183, which is not a lot. Definitely not a lot. Uh, we should also start putting out some solar because robots do take a lot of energy. They really do. So we're going to have to attend to that. Make sure we get plenty of that. The good thing is we are making those blue, um, blue chips. And so we're going to have the ability to have regular robots and maybe say goodbye to the nanobots because um, I feel like nanobots are really good for early game. Um, the only thing is that, um, well, I don't know. They, I don't like that regular bots have to charge. That has always really kind of annoyed me, like a charge on your person. Um, and that, I wish there was a better charging mechanism, especially for early game where, or mid game where you, they, there's these portable solar panels. But the problem is that portable solar panels really aren't useful at all. So it's kind of like, oh no, horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, I forgot to put the belt in here. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, these are sorted out. They are getting their inserters. Uh, yeah, but I've always thought it was really silly how um, here I am catching robots because that's that's the workaround for the non-charging thing is that you can catch them from the air and they recharge instantly. So if that is a part of the game, why not just make them non-charging or not have to use as much electricity or something like that? That, that was my, my thought anyway. All right, these are going to go this way. These are going to go way over. You just go that way. Just go as far as you can, dude. There we are. And this one is going to go here, and that one's going to go there. Okay. Ah, yes, and we need to talk about the... The usage of copper as well. Oh, we did already. We did this already. Woohoo! Right. Ah, yes. And this this whole line here needs to be desperately upgraded. And here's another opportunity for you to say, "Aha! I I don't really want more than a hundred yellow belts in my in my uh, inventory." So you can just tell the bots, take them all, but this much. Okay, and then these inserters will also slowly get built here. And all of these will, will get built eventually as my robots. Ah, and here's what I'm talking about when, um, when I was saying that 
You don't necessarily want the fewest roboports. They see... Oh my gosh, where did they all go? But anyway, there's a whole bunch huddled here. They're, they only have four, ro four charging spots per station, and those are at the corners. You see them kind of coming up to those corners. Um, and then the ones around the area, all these guys are just waiting. And they have to wait for a free spot before they can actually charge. Uh, so that's kind of eh, not, not a great thing. You need to have plenty of roboports for them to charge. I'm not going to add one here because I don't expect this construction project is actually going to take that long. It really isn't. Um, so I'm not really worried about that at all. All right, looks like we desperately need some iron as well. Let's just go ahead and uh, increase the speed of this here. Oh, they're giving me stuff. Thanks. Oh, and taking stuff away. Hooray. That's even better. Keep my inventory clean, bots. Yes. All right. So this is our iron. Do we have more iron? That's the big question that I'm curious about at the moment. I also want to look and see if... Ah, yes. This area is not covered by roboports at all. So... I think I would like to build a connecting thing here somewhere. Here's okay, maybe? Like right there is good. How is that working? Okay, that gets everything that's not under construction or not finished yet. This one is done for the most part, uh, except for the fact that we need much more iron. So. We can go and do the mining thing with the iron as well. Okay, there we go. Let's go down here and set this up. Oh yes, we have something very interesting going on over here. Oh yes, that's this one, isn't it? <laughs> Dear God. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Um, where is that other iron line going? Oh, that one's going to steel. Oh, I see, I see. All right. Okay, so let's see. This stuff, yeah, this will probably not ever need to be red, but that's okay. It is emptying out into the red world, which is fine. Let's uh, upgrade some of these belts. I think that the, the funny thing is, between the pair of these columns here, we have plenty enough iron, and it's not getting even used. Okay. I should say all of it's not getting used. Okay. Just get that upgraded a bit. There's a miner to recycle. Okay, looks like coal is doing just fine. This seems like we have tons and tons of ore in here. One and a half K. Yeah. Looks like it. How is this working? Okay, this is only going... This is going to one steel plant. This is going to one iron ore place. But it's backed up. And it's backed up. Why is it backed up? Because... Let's see if I can upgrade plan this stuff. Yes, I can. Okay, the, the solution is we don't have enough of these arrays. So that is probably the next step in our green circuit thing. We're now feeding it far too fast to keep up in it. There's not enough machines to process all the stuff. Okay, what do we want here? Follow a robot? Sure. It's one of those irrelevant kind of things. Oh gosh, look at how silly that is. Do I have any inserters? Let me just craft some then. Okay. Can you please put that inserter there? <laughs> Bots, put it in. Yeah, this was like the one couple of uh, squares that the other... Uh, that the, um, the roboports don't cover. That's strange that this... I must not have pressed shift when I clicked it down or something. Anyway... Aha! So, we need to build more of this, and we're going to have to move this splitter as well. 
because as you can see, it's going plenty far and I have no more belts. So I think I'm going to wait for robots to deliver stuff to me, but the rest is going to happen in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.